Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Cuboid Outpost. And yesterday, on the last episode, we made um, this machine in Create to wash gravel to make iron. And we ended up with some iron, iron um, ingots. So now we've officially entered into the Iron Age. And in between episodes, all I did really was to make the iron singularity. And um, so then I upgraded all the drawers. So now they've all got at least one iron upgrade, which is good. Also, I while I was waiting for the iron, all the iron to smelt up and do stuff so I can get the singularity, I went ahead and finished off some um, some quests. So we finished off the getting started chapter because basically all I did was finish make the um, the upgrades. So the could have be better upgrades, not half badium, wickedium, and that'll do. And that finished off that um, section. Uh, getting going. What did I finish with this? Oh, I sieved some sand by mistake got these seeds and that finished off this quest I thought it was finished but obviously not and then getting creative I went in and just did all these bits so um, making the the um, the dried kelp and turn it into a conveyor belt I only did I think you only needed one so I just did the one um, funnels and tunnels and stress management these bits so I did all of that and the crank as well finished it all off so today we are going to be starting tinkers and also what i did i tried to get everything ready so at least we can see how far we can see how far we can get with this i want to be able to have a working tinkers smeltery and maybe get osmium i don't know but we'll see well, well that's that's the that's the plan for today to do at least do this bit so i have I think I've got everything I need in here. I went ahead and I made grout. So I made more grout than they asked for because, you know, you always need grout to make tinker stuff. So, okay, well, I think we, we did that last time. And I got the grout. So what do they want us to do? They want us to make bricks. They want one seared brick. But I think I will do a stack. That should cover what we need. Let's take that out, put that into, are they all that'll do? Yes, it is. So let's divide that into three. That's four. Get those going. Next thing. Um, right, so they want six porcelain clay and an unfired crucible. We can do that. I have the clay balls here. Um, I want one more. And six bone meal. That's seven. Use this one. Put them together and you've got porcelain clay. And then to make the unfired crucible, you put them in the... Why do they want... Why did they want six, but you need seven? I knew I needed seven. Unless, of course, that was a mistake. I don't know. All right, let's try that again. Nope. Oh, do I have to um hold on. Do I have to unfired. Do I have to bake it? Oh, I need grout in the middle. Okay. There you go. That's a bit of a different recipe. That's why you need six. Right in the middle, porcelain clay, and more porcelain clay, unfired crucible. There you go. And we can stick that in here. Our seared bricks are ready. So what they want, they want the seared fuel gauge and the sm and the seared seared melter. Let's put that there. Let's get rid of these. I want that. These are all stuff that I did yesterday. Right, that's done. So the seared melter and the seared um, fuel gauge. 
do that first. We need glass and the melter. Then we need just one faucet. I'm realizing that um, when something is mentioned, like if they only want you to make one thing, usually it's only because you need one thing, which is really good because it cuts down on the wastage. Uh, seared heater, that's in a circle. And oh, no, I could do it here. Yeah, seared heater. What else do we need? The casting basin. That's here. Uh, what else? And the casting table. And there's that. Awesome. And we need a bucket of lava. Alright, so we've got that. We need the crucible. You know what? We should see what f what's um, heat sources you can put under the crucible. Because I know you can use torches. Uh, crucible. Um, unfired, fired crucible. That. Um, does it tell you? Oh, heat sources. There you go. Glowstone, blazing crystal. Blazing crystal. Oh, that's um, from power. That's ah, not what I wanted to do. Fired crucible. That. Heat sources. So glowstone. Blazing crystal, a torch, which is times two, lava, which is times several, blaze wood, which I think you get from tinkers, yes. A magma block, block of uraninite, wall torch, fire, shroom light, soul fire, block of nitro crystal, and a block of uranium. Okay. Well, obviously, we're going to have to go for the torch. At least the torch is two times as fast. And not one time as fast as it is in some packs, which is really annoying. Okay, let's get a torch. Do we have any torches? No. But well, wait a minute. You're supposed to put um, um, put heat source beneath the fired crucible. Different materials produce different amounts of molten rock. Okay, start with you the torch. So you can put any stone in there? Because usually you put in cobblestone. All right, let's have a look. Uh, fired crucible. Oh, so granite. And the site, that's 250, 250, 250. Gravel gives you a little bit less. Crushed diorite gives you a little bit less. Yeah, so any of the, the, main, the main rocks will give you four to one. All right, do we have, do I have any andesite or anything in here? Doesn't look like it. No, let's go downstairs and get that. All right, let's put you there. Put the crucible on top and fill that with andesite. Or, and of course I probably should have put something in front of it so I can step up and have a look. Okay, so that's going. That will take a little bit of time. Is there anything else we can do? Um, oh, blank sand, blank sand cast. All right, let's see where we're going to put our little tinkers set up. I think I'll put the smeltery here. So let's see. You want the seed heater, the melter? No. Melter goes on top, and then you can put the casting table on one side, and that on the other, and put our faucets on. Is this faucet supposed to go? Oh no, that's only on one side. Get a stack of coal, and what was I going to do? I was going to do something. Oh, and I've got dust. I've got dust going through the... Um, Sifter. Sieve. That's it. It's sifting through the sieve. <laughs> because I'm trying to get redstone so I can make the redstone singularity because we're going to need quite a bit of redstone. Did I put... No, I didn't put these. It was... Own... Oh, is that... Oh, that's glowstone dust. So we can get glowstone off the bat. It was a block of glowstone, right? Um, crucible. 
Sources, glowstone, yes, five times. Awesome. Right, so... Right, if I break... If I break this... That's going slowly. So if I... There you go, that's much better. Much, much better. I'm glad I saw that. All right, so what else? All right, we wanted sand. Um, Do I have any sand up here? I don't think I do. Oh, back downstairs. See you in a tick. Okay, so the black... Nope. How do you do the blank sand cast? Um, one block of sand in a crafting table. Oh, okay. I should really put a crafting table out here, shouldn't I? Do I have any wood on me? No. But I do have my crafting table on a stick, so that could work. Blankety blank. Uh, the game show of all game shows. Alright, and an ingot cast. Make an ingot cast, place a blank sand cast onto the casting table and then use an ingot shaped item on it, such as an actual ingot or a sealed brick, and then you can get the cast. If you pick up the ingot sand cast, you get a blank sand cast. Alright, do we get... Oh no, that's from here. Okay. I was wondering where the gold came in. Alright, well let's do that. Do I have... I have a seared brick on me. So... That there. Seared brick. Oh yeah, obviously you can't prick it up. So, because if you pick it up, it converts back into a bit of blank sand. So there's that. Alright, so we're just waiting on the lava. We've almost got a bucket. Do I have any buckets on me? Because in the last episode, I was there looking for buckets, buckets to put water in, and I had 14 buckets on me in my inventory and I didn't actually notice. So where did I put my buckets this time round? Nope. Alright, we have a bucket. And we have a bucket of lava. Which is very awesome. Right, let's put... Alright, more andesite. So what are we supposed to do with this bucket of lava now? Right, so we can melt or smelt. At this point, you have everything to, you need to make your first seared melter and start using it. Refer to the provided image to see how you could set this up. And then for some simple automation, you can use a hopper to input items from the top or the sides. And you can extract that have been cast from a hopper underneath and in two chests, which is basic Tinker stuff. Yeah, so that's one way of doing it. And it has a, a lever on it as well. Which is also good. Right. So we need a seared tank. Seared fuel tank. Okay. What else do we need? Seared shoot, seared drain. Right, let's go make these things. Right, let's put this back in the chest. Right. Um Seared. Right, seared drain. Is the drain. Seared shoot. What's that for though? Um, smeltery input and output. So what's the drain then? Smeltery fluid input and output. Seared, seared shoot is smeltery item input and output. I don't know what you do with that. Okay, but maybe we will see. Maybe we'll be, we will be told. All right, so we've got those two. We want the um, seared fuel tank. Uh, seared fuel tank, which is that one. And 29 seared bricks. Let's make the other thing first, and then if we have anything left over, we'll make the seared bricks. And seared con smeltery controller. Right, so to make the beating heart of the smeltery, you need to take the smeltery controller and put it in the... No, you need to take the, the seared heater and put it in the molten copper. And you need four ingots of that. 
All right, so we need copper. All right, so if we get four ingots. Did I put... Oh, yes, I have coal. Put coal in. Now, this only takes three at a time. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. All right, we might have to do some more grout because we want 29 bricks and we don't have 29 now do you see why i did two stacks of grout because that one stack that we had really isn't cutting it and we'll probably need more to be honest all right divide that into three all right so you've got three ingots put in another one right and then I can break off the heater, drop it in there, and then pour it in. Right, that's done, and we got the smeltery controller. But the only thing we're waiting on is the seared bricks. Uh, we need 29, we have three. Okay. So then what we can do is to break this be honest i'm not quite sure oh we could have left the table it's fine oh it's it retains the cast i thought it broke that's interesting all right let's put that all right let's think about how do we want to i don't know how i want to put the um where's my axe i don't know where my axe is All right, I'm going to make the bricks. No, hold on. These should be smelted by now. Ah, uh, that's only 19. That's only 19. Okay. Let's make some more grout then. Grout is clay. Sand. Do we have sand up here? I don't think we do. Okay. Sand. Clay. Gravel. Gives you grout. Quite happy to do two stacks, even if I don't need it all. Uh, grout, gravel, and the other stuff, and the site all look the same. Buy that into three. It's night time, let's sleep. Even though we don't need to anymore because, you know, we've got our fence. How's this going? Right, how much? Redstone do we have? 131. I think we need 160, right? We need 160. Okay, we need another 30. That's not too bad. Though this does take forever. We could go downstairs and just sieve. I think I might do that while we're waiting for... While waiting for stuff to smelt. Let's go sieve some redstone, scintillating stuff. But at least it's not going to take very long because we have 16, 16, um, 16 of these things, 16 sieves. The only thing is it doesn't all come to you, you need a magnet. And of course we don't have that yet. I do love a magnet. Oh, it might take a while. We've only got four out of a stack. And we have... We need 31. I should have put it on my hotbar so I could see. We're not going to get 31 out of this. 24. Okay, not, not too bad. Where's the dust? Alright, let's try again another stack this time put it on your hot bar so you can see when you get to 31 and we'll go again see now that you've got you know 100 million sieves that you're standing on not too bad there you go there's the magical 31 and we have a redstone singularity awesome um could be better so there's that do you get anything for the singularities i don't think you do and our seared bricks are done. 
and start by putting down three by three base of bricks and four walls on the outside of those are three by two so like this picture here you'll be four blocks short which you can use for the tank the chute the drain and the controller i guess that's the chute the drain and the controller once you place down the smeltery controller all of the walls are complete with valid smelter and all of the walls are complete with valid smeltery blocks the multi-block will form and put some la lava or blazing blood in the seared fuel tank and your smeltery will be ready to start smelting okay um all right i don't know uh, what you use the shoot for but we have this all right so you've got Oh, oh, I think the chute, it looks like the chute, then you can use it on multiple sides. Ah, because I think before the drain used to be just on one side, but the chute looks like you can use it on multiple sides. Well, let's test that out and see. So let's do classic three by three. All right, we'll move this out the way. And we could probably put more andesite in the lava bucket as well. Actually, we, should, we could probably automate that, but soon. Right. Um, should we put it flush to the ground? I think it should be flush to the ground. Do I have... Oh, we don't need that. Okay, so you need three. And then we need to leave four spots. Okay, so there's the controller. Go there. Tank can go there. What's this? The seared drain? And the seared chute. Alright, I can put that there. Not valid yet. And we want... I want the basin. That the chute was for what? Fluid input and output. And the drain is for item input and output. Right, it's the same on both. And they've got holes on the insides. Okay, pretty cool. And then let's... That should be... That is valid, right? That is valid. Okay, so that holds 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 by 6, that's 18. Okay, this should be okay. I could have put that on that side maybe i should put this on oh but never mind i am dithering right all right so check that and osmium osmium um can be made through alloying fullerene which is molten nano car nano tubes iron and that'll do all right let's put a bucket of lava in here and how many spots we have 18 if we do nanocarbon nanotubes oh, we don't have that many of them there's 14 i wonder if there's a carbon nanotube oh there's a singularity i didn't realize that and we need 96 okay i will work on that between episodes the so 18 of those 18 of those and what was the other thing it said iron right um iron all right let's get some iron chunks copper this is iron all right so oh, wrong thing right if we've got 18 spots and we've got three things we could put six in each i really wasn't thinking so six of you three Six of you, and then six of you. Fullerene, molten that'll do. Is fullerene an actual thing? I wonder. Looks pretty though. And it's alloying into osmium. Why do we still have? Did it give a recipe? No, no, no recipe. But all right, so. Well, we've got two blocks of osmium right remember what you're doing click it so it goes on the bottom 
Oh, faucet. We need the faucets. That and that. Here's which one? The seared shoot. Do we need the faucet for that? Why did that not work? I do know what I'm doing, I promise. Alright, let's put the ingot cast. Well, that worked. All right, we're going to have to make a gold ingot cast because we have gold. I don't know why the blocks didn't work, though. I said item, seared shoot, seared drain. We need another seared drain. Um, drain. Yeah, we need more grout. That is annoying. Um, where did you pop out from? Oh, because I opened it up and it came out. Made sense. Okay, so once this bit has the colour of the liquid that's in it, then that means it's going to come out from there, I'm guessing. That makes sense. All right, has that. Let's back up to two blocks. Let's go again. Ah. Oh, items, because you can put in, like, um... Enderman and stuff in there now, so maybe that's why you need the shoot? I don't know. Okay, so we have our Osmium. And we finished this bit. So now we can go forwards and we will do this in the next episode. I don't know how much we would get done, but we will try as much as possible to get things done. But I did say I wanted to work in smeltery. And we have a working smeltery, which was relatively painless. So we have our Tinker smeltery. In between episodes, I am going to work on a, um, a cobble generator. Oh, zombie train. <laughs> that made me laugh. Oh, dear. Sorry, I get distracted so easily. Right, um, yeah, so next lesson. Next episode, we will get a little bit further into Tinkers and see how much more we can do because we now have a working smeltery and we have lava. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.